So in mid-2002, I moved to our Hong Kong office. Uh, back then we had eight people uh, and my role was um, just the only actuary. So I was the marketing actuary, the pricing actuary, pretty much did any of the actuarial work. And then a year and a half later, uh, they decided to give me more responsibilities and let me oversee the whole running of the Hong Kong office. We were a startup operation, a young family, a young group of people, very hardworking. We worked hard to really find opportunities to provide reinsurance quotations so that we could learn, so that we could build our brand, so we could build our own capabilities. About three or four years later, we started actually receiving some awards, uh, which was totally surprising to us. Our business and our team has grown so much in, in capability and size, such that we now have phenomenal teams looking after most of the client management. So my day is really spent within our internal teams, handling certain issues that, are, that have arisen, doing town halls. Really, it's, it's all about speaking to our people, making sure we're doing the right things, making sure the culture of the company is right, making sure we exhibit strong discipline, making sure we're continually serving our clients in the best way possible, and making sure we continue to come up with creative, innovative solutions, which very much has been the hallmark of RJ's success around the world, but particularly in Asia. What we can do as a reinsurer or in the insurance profession is create products and solutions that particularly can help try and narrow the protection gap. There's still tens of millions of people, particularly in the emerging markets around Asia, that are still underinsured. So if we can create innovative products or solutions that can reach these people in some manner, and that can hopefully lower the pain and suffering in an unforeseen event for uh, some of these families, then that is incredibly fulfilling. I definitely think actuaries are suited to uh, high-end board position and senior leadership roles. The actual profession, like I mentioned earlier, is steeped in not only ethics and professionalism, which is integral for such senior roles, but it is also fundamentally steeped in logic. And oftentimes, innovation comes from the fact that if you're able to apply strong logic, the only solution that remains is the logical one, but it sometimes is a solution that is totally out of the box. And that's an integral part of all leadership, all senior roles. And you know, you don't just accept these as the solution. You absolutely have to test your data, test your assumptions to make sure that you're not missing something, to make sure that it, that is the logical solution. I knew the actuarial profession would let me rise very quickly in the corporate world, but my intention was never really to be a technical actuary, and if anything, was to use that as a platform to enter business. I mean, within 10 years, you know, I, I progressed from doing technical roles into more leadership and business and management roles. So that's the real reasons why I joined the profession and continue to, to love the profession to today.